we often hear about heart valve surgery, but is it possible to do with minimal access? There's so much changing in the world of heart surgery, and here to explain more is Dr. Eric Beyer, a cardiothoracic surgeon with Baptist Health Heart Institute. Welcome to you. Well, thank you. I appreciate Th that. Thanks so much for being here. We need to welcome you really to Arkansas because you've, you've been with the Baptist team for maybe about a month now. How yeah, are you liking right. it? Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. It's a great, great hospital to work for, and uh, the team is just fantastic, so I'm just really pleased to be here. Good. So. They're good people over yeah, there, right. so so we count you as a good person, too. <laughs> um, let's talk a little bit about heart valve surgery and, and what it's all about. Who is a good candidate for something like this? Gotcha. Well, obviously, you want to have a, a heart valve problem, obviously, mm -hmm. and uh, those are the things that your primary care doctor will initially diagnose in you and then the cardiologist typically do. Uh, usually, by the time you get to me, it's... Uh, you know, it's established fact that you have a heart valve problem, which is, uh, you know, you have four heart valves uh, in your heart. And typically the mitral and aortic valve are the problem valves in, in patients. And, and if you have one of those valve problems, uh, you can certainly be referred for a, a small incision type valve surgery by your cardiologist. So. Is it pretty major surgery? I yeah, mean? you know, it's major surgery. Yeah. It's open heart operation. And, uh, but the nice thing about it is, you know, we used to do a lot of these operations through a big incision in the middle of your chest and nowadays we can do you know smaller access surgery uh, through through little tiny incisions in the side of your chest and that kind of thing so you know it's it's nice to have uh, that option uh, uh, if you're having valve surgery so that you don't have uh, this kind of obvious uh, middle scar in the middle of your chest oh, yeah so. it's amazing how, how far technology is yes come. absolutely let's talk about the benefits if someone if someone has a heart valve issue they have the surgery what are the benefits of getting it done well the benefits of doing it through a smaller incision are that you typically require less blood products uh, uh, typically patients don't need any blood products if we go through a smaller incision they typically get out of the hospital a day or so earlier and then their recovery time is a whole lot faster typically they they get over the surgery a lot quicker than if you did it through a, a mid midline sternal incision mm, we're talking about the small incision now what do you see in the future for heart valve well that's surgery? a good question you know at Baptist, at Baptist we're building a very uh, large hybrid operating room uh, where we're going to have the ability to do percutaneous valves and so those valves will be put in with the help of the cardiologist the heart surgeon and cardiologists will work in tandem together and we can put those valves in through uh, little little um, little incisions in the groin and sometimes even smaller incisions in the chest so wow. yeah it's so exciting it is it is yeah. well without question when we have a heart doctor on they always seem to get more phone calls uh, from our viewers with health questions than anybody else that we have on and you will be on hand tonight with some more of your colleagues taking questions is that right that's right yeah February's heart month so we're really focused on dealing with the uh, with uh, issues surrounding the heart and we'll have cardiologists here tonight including uh, Randy Minton and Scott Davis who I know personally from our training days back in Houston so they'll be here tonight and they're uh, part of the cardiology team that uh, that's affiliated with Baptist Hospital and so we're looking forward to, to having them here tonight too yeah. and, and uh, answering questions and you will be taking questions about any matters of the heart is that any right? matters of the heart whether it's a rhythm problem a valve problem uh, you know whether you're having uh, uh, you know heart failure low blood flow states you know, at uh, Baptist, we also do heart transplants and assist devices, which is uh, great because it's uh, really the only hospital in the state that does uh, the heart transplants in adults. And so that's a nice thing about, uh, you know, having all of these uh, doctors around to answer questions. They really do take care of everything from the simplest heart problems to, the, you know, the, the major stuff. Sure, and make it easy to understand. That's right, too. and they really break it down, yeah. that's for sure. All right, well, we just want to remind you, we, we are hosting that call in tonight with the Baptist Health Heart Institute to mark Heart Month. And the phone bank will be open tonight in our 7 on your side office from 5 to 7 p.m. Baptist Health Heart Institute physicians will be on hand to answer your heart questions. So be sure to call in tonight from 5 to 7 p.m. And we'll see you later. All right. All right. Thanks, Thanks so, much. so much for coming Appreciate on today. It. Thank you.